Hey folks, we are visiting Bar Francois today and recreating the drinks from chapter 145 and 146 from Dr. Stone, starting with Suica's drink, which is a mix of cucumber and apple juice and some Calpico. So the magic of this drink is when you mix the two, you end up with a watermelon flavor. So this is just the garnish piece that will have some grated cucumber inside for the, the effect of mixing the two flavors. All I'm doing is just uh, taking off the skin for the design and it's it ended up super cute. And there's my little helmet. It's so cute. And some space inside to put some cucumber. So I grated some cucumber to put inside and so that when it goes in the drink it'll like release the, all the flavor. So this recipe is Calpico mixed with apple juice and just to taste it first before mixing in the cucumber and it kind of reminds me of like a strawberries and cream kind of flavor except apple and not strawberries. And this is our two sides sunshine. So you just plop the helmet in there, releases all the cucumber, and there's some slices in there too, just to make sure that the flavors, there's enough flavor in there to mix. And yes, it does taste like watermelon, like a weird kind of watermelon. And it's, it's really good. So if you want to make an alcoholic version, uh, you can make a margarita. It makes a really nice margarita. But don't give any to Suika. She's not old enough. So next is Tsukasa's drink. It's a pretty simple drink. Uh, grenadine and tonic water. Uh, without it, any alcohol in it, you're kind of like just pretending that you're drinking. So it's kind of a boring drink. But it's pretty nice. So you just mix grenadine tonic water together. And the alcoholic version, we're going to add some Japanese whiskey. Now this whiskey on its own is oof so hard to drink but in this mixed drink it's actually pretty nice so not bad I'm gonna borrow Suica's straw here so this is Tsukasa's grenadine and tonic next is Kohaku's drink it's got a lot of ingredients in it we have ginger ale, orange juice, pineapple juice, lemon juice, and some ginger. It's got a lot of ginger in this drink and I think that really helps out this drink a lot. And then with the ginger, I really don't like the ginger bits I prefer to uh, squeeze the juice out of it and then just use that I do that when I'm cooking too so this drink is really good like I said the more ginger the better in my opinion and you can add some coconut rum goes great with any citrus it's a really good drink 
This is the Piquant Cinderella. Next is Gin's Drink, the spicy cola. We gotta start with making some cola, which is cilantro, lime, and honey. I've made this cola a few times, so I kind of just make quick work of the cilantro and lime and the honey. And yeah, it ends up looking really green because of blending up the cilantro. And then I warm up the lime juice just a little bit so that they'll mix with the honey. Put in some carbonated water, mix in the cola mix. And this spicy cola recipe calls for chai syrup. So I found some chai concentrate that I think will work just fine. And cayenne. This is what really makes it pretty hot. I started with just a little bit of cayenne just to see how it goes. And I ended up adding a lot more and it's good but it does get you. It is spicy, but it's not bad. And you can add some spiced rum to it to make it even better. So next is, <clears throat> next is a uh, Senku's uh, three layer latte. And this is a bit more complicated. We am going to start with boiling some water and mixing it with this psyllium husk powder. And this is taking the place of the gum syrup because I'm not about to mess with some sulfuric acid and whatever, uh, whatever kind of mineral they were using. Uh, this is just the poor man's version of gum syrup. It's just psyllium husk powder uh, and some hot water. And that's for the hojicha, which is just like a toasted uh, green tea. Uh, kind of messing around with the ratio of, of the gum syrup and, and the tea, but I just kind of went with whatever. Next is the matcha whip. Using heavy whipping cream. Start with just a little bit. Get it a little bit liquid. And then just add little by little until it's blended really well. And then bring in the big guns with the, uh, the blender. Add some powdered sugar. Should probably add some sugar to the uh, hojicha gum syrup mix too. Okay, so in the manga, the the hojicha is on the bottom and then the milk on top of that but I quickly found out that it's not going to work out that way so I just went ahead and put the milk on the bottom and I wasn't sure if the matcha was going to float on top but it does it's a little bit messy but it worked out So this is Senku's three layer tea latte with matcha, hojicha, and milk. And you can replace the milk with Irish cream. Here I tried to make like a fourth layer with it. Uh, that turned into a mess pretty quick. So why not just, like Senku said, just mix it up. And it's so good. Okay, last is Matsukaze's drink. He had a matcha beer. And the beer that they make uses uh, wild uh, yeast. So I went with a farmhouse sour beer that is kind of made the same way. I tried to go. I'm not a huge fan of sour beers. I really, really am not. So I tried to find one that was gonna be gonna be okay. So the recipe is just matcha mixed with the beer 
And again, start with just a little bit. Get it into a paste. This is just so it's not lumpy. And then add little by little. <clears throat> the matcha made the beer foam up a lot, like a whole lot. And this recipe, I think, has too much matcha in it, but it looks cool, right? So if I were to rank these, I'm gonna have to put the matcha beer on the bottom. It's just not my thing. I'm not a fan of sour and put mac mixing the matcha with it mm, doesn't really help it at all. Uh, next would be the spicy cola. It's not bad, but it's, it's a whole lot of craziness going on. For a drink with cayenne pepper in it, it's not bad. Uh, next would be Tsukasa's drink, which uh, I, I ranked it in the middle just because it's not, it's good, but it's kind of boring. There's nothing special to it, really. Makes it easy to drink that, that whiskey, though. Next would be uh, Kohaku's drink. I really enjoy this drink. Especially with the coconut. Next would be the uh, Suikis drink. It's just got such a cool fruity flavor. And the helmet is so cute. And mixing in is so much fun and it's just so cool. And like I said, it makes a great mar margarita. And But my favorite, the latte, it was so good. Like, I couldn't get enough of it. It was so good. So I thought I would make a drink for Francois too, since they didn't have their own. And when I thought about what that might be, I thought about uh, one of the first things that they did was make some uh, fruit preserved in alcohol and this is something that I've already started it's uh, ume plums uh, sitting in some vodka and some sugar it's called plum wine or ume shu uh, and it's something that sits for about a year and then what you end up with is like a sour plum flavored uh, vodka so it's not quite done yet, but I wanted to try it anyway. Another reason that I chose the, the Ume plums is since Francois seems to be someone who appreciates culture. Uh, this, this plum wine is like a big part of Japanese culture. It's a tradition in Japan. So I thought that would also help kind of represent Francois. So we'll just take a shot out of the uh, plum wine and we'll mix it with some uh, lemon water or lemon soda just to help brighten it up a bit we know Francois always knows how to brighten up a party right so another thing that I made with uh, some ume plums is called plum syrup and all it is is uh, plums mixed with sugar and then uh, over a few weeks the sugar turns to liquid and soaks up all the flavor out of the plums. I don't know if you can tell but compared to the ones in the plum wine they're all shriveled up because they've had all the flavor sucked out of them. So this uh, plum syrup is super sweet and full of that sour plum flavor and it's the perfect addition to complete this drink. If you want the non-alcoholic version, you can just skip out on the plum wine and stick with the syrup. And if you can catch ume plums in season, which is around May, uh, ume plums are seasonal. You can only find them really in May and maybe in June. So if you can find some during the season, and I'm calling this one the Greedy Gypsy. Uh, we know Francois is greedy just like Ryasui. And, well, Gypsy, we know Francois is a worldly person. 
and has all kinds of things in their bag. So that's all the drinks. It was kind of fun to bring them to life. And if you want to make them yourself and you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you want to see any other content I've made about Dr. Stone, I have uh, my video about the generator on this channel and I do plan on making more videos here. But I also have a blog that I share with uh, Rochelle, another Dr. Stone fan. And we do uh, weekly chapter reviews of the manga as well as other posts about the science and characters and story and stuff like that. So that's in the, the description. Check it out. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.